Hey everyone, this is Bad But Sweaty, and in this video, I will be reviewing Vigor's Season 15 Salvation Battle Pass. This season's theme seems to be focused around some form of nomads or survivalists, or nomadic survivalists, um, and the Battle Pass reflects that nicely, with a good mixture of scavenged looking gear and militaristic equipment, making up the bulk of the Battle Pass this season. Before we start, I just want to give a huge thank you to Chris for going into the partner preview build and getting me some of the footage of this Battle Pass so I can make this review. Without any further delay, let's begin. The title for this season is a multi-tool, and as you level it up, more of its tools are shown on the emblem, ending in a title that's almost reminiscent of the Junker's diamond title, with a saw blade as the back plate. Starting off with the first outfit you'll see in the battle pass, the Urban Survivor outfit. It looks like an old construction worker's outfit that was scavenged and modified slightly. But, uh, that's really all I can say for it. It's, it's a construction outfit. <laughs> that's all I got. Here we have the first responder outfit series, which is just a firefighter's suit without the helmet. Um, just gotta say one thing about it. Uh, our boy's looking kind of thick here, I mean, you know, you know. Uh, cool outfit. L would like to see more like it. We already have police, now we have firefighters, maybe some paramedics in the future. Here we have the turnout gear. It's the previous firefighter outfit, but with a little vest on it with some pouches on the front. Here we have a very beefy firefighter outfit. Looks like it was modified for combat by one of the Outlanders, and it looks very nice, I must say. And for level 50 in the free tier, you get another Urban Survivor outfit, but it looks like you have either a leather jacket or a jean jacket on instead of the old worker's jacket in the previous Urban Survivor outfit. Next up, we have one of the four weapon skin series for the season. Matai. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm not. It seems to be a bunch of symbols that I can't really make out. Looks a lot like either a zebra or just an all-white skin. A little too similar to those in my opinion, but not a bad skin. Alright, moving on. We have the tagged skin series. It is literally just graffiti on a gun. Once again, I can't really make out any of the symbols or tags on it, but yeah, it's a very unique skin. Oh, I like it. After that, we have the Ember skin series. This series is my favorite in the Battle Pass by far. I don't even need to describe it to you. It, it just looks incredible. The, the devs really outdid themselves with this if this were on every single gun, I might just have to change half of my gun skins, honestly. The final skin series for this battle pass is Slapdash. And as the name implies, it looks like someone slapped a bunch of stuff on the weapon and dashed into a fight. <laughs> With rags around the stock, the scope, the foregrip, and the trigger handle. It also seems to have some signs of wear and tear on it as well. This, in my opinion, is a little too similar to the old wrap skin for the SVD, but uh, that skin was only on the SVD, so I guess this is fine here. Here we have the Guardian Gloves, which are very reminiscent of the old combat gloves from a few seasons ago. Here we have the motocross helmet, which looks very similar to the Trials series helmets, but I'm not certain if that was an intentional thing or not. 
Next up we have the Delta Strike Mask, and this is becoming a trend, but this looks very similar to the Combat Mask we had a few seasons ago. <laughs> There's also a couple face paints in this battle pass, my favorite of which being a little threat symbol tattoo on your Outlander's cheek. But there's also a few others, such as the Fresh Stitches. These are the Protective Goggles. They come in only blue, following a trend that the devs have set for this battle pass, where not a lot of items have a series of different colors to it. It's just the one cosmetic. Honestly, I've never seen anything that looks anything like this, except in the Fallout series, with its power armor. I don't really see how this will fit into anyone's outfit, but you do you guys. You do you. Then we have the Brawler's Gloves, which are combat gloves with bolts fastened to the end of each knuckle. These look... interesting. <laughs> That's all I can say. After that is the Winter Mask, which I must say looks very cool. <laughs> and honestly could overtake the Shaman in terms of people using it. Here we have the Tactical Helmet, which looks like any standard issue helmet in any armory ever. Next up is the Watch Cap, which is just a standard beanie or hat with a paper clip and a little patch on the front. I can't make out what the patch says though. Might be easier in a match, I don't know. After that, we have the Street Rider Helmet, which looks like something straight out of Robocop or Terminator. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but it looks cool as hell. So, <laughs> that's all I gotta say for it. The Improvised Eye Patch. Uh, it is a cloth around your head. All I can say for it, very basic. Uh, yeah, not really doing anything for the battle pass. Alright, next up we have some very strange looking glasses. Looks like something a baseball player would wear. Here we have one of the strangest additions to the battle pass, the fortified cap. Uh, it is a standard baseball cap with a colander on it and a cardboard sign taped to the side. I can't make out what the sign says, but that's still pretty funny, I gotta say. Alright, here we have some work gloves. Looks like some very basic gloves. Not not much to say about them here. Alrighty folks, you heard it here first. Robin has entered Vigor. Maybe we'll see Batman in season 16, I don't know. Uh, here we have the wired cap. It's a baseball cap with some patches on it and wire going around the top. That's all I got. It's a, it's a baseball cap. Possibly the main attraction for most people in the battle pass. The L96 plan is going to be at tier 44, which is very late in the pass, especially considering it's a special issue weapon that will take a long, long time to craft. I don't think we'll be seeing too many of these in the next season. But, only time and the weapon frequency data will tell. The banana mask, or masque, I don't know how to say that honestly, is just a jumble of clothing items that your outlander has made into a mask. Could definitely fit with the survivalist theme. Here we have probably the coolest helmet in the battle pass. Whatever this is, it is the XF3 helmet. There's almost nothing to say about the leather backpack. It's... it's a leather backpack. Um... <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Moving on. Here we have the trekking backpack for the five people who actually care about backpacks in this game. And I will hand it to the devs. It looks like a backpack. And now we are up to another backpack. <sighs> it's a backpack. God damn it, it's another backpack.
All things considered, this battle pass is a little disappointing. I like that the devs made just one-off clothing items, you know, one-off skins, but a, a lot of them just aren't really that good, they aren't really that interesting. I, I do love the weapon skins, some of them, especially the embers, oh my god. Those are masterpieces, absolute masterpieces, whoever made them, I love you. But all things considered, in my opinion, this battle pass is very disappointing. But let me know what you think about the cosmetics in the battle pass, or the battle pass as a whole in the comments. That being said, this has been Bad But Sweaty from the Christopher Beast channel. Have a nice day.